Hello. In this video, we are going to look at this coding back problem from arrays one called swap ends. So let's dive in. Given an array of ints, swap the first and last element in the array. Return the modified array. The array length will be at least one. This is really important to kind of highlight because we know that the length is at least one. We don't have to account for a situation when the length is zero. If we had to account for that, we'd have to do some check and figure out what to do in that case. It's really important when you're working through these types of problems is to look at the restrictions around the length of the array. And the same thing goes for strings. So if we look at our example, this is the array that's passed in, one, two, three, four, and the array that's passed out is four, two, three, one. So notice we've just switched the first and last element. The second example, one, two, three is passed in, and what's returned is three, two, one. The first and last element are switched. Okay, so I'm actually going to do this incorrectly first. I want you to see if you can catch where the mistake is, because this is kind of um, the difference between computer thinking versus human thinking. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make an int called length, and I'm going to store the length of nums. Remember, when we read the header, we can see that this function needs to return an array of ints, and this function takes an array of ints called nums. And then all I'm going to do is I'm going to say nums at 0 is equal to nums at length minus 1. Nums at length minus 1 is equal to nums at 0. And then I return nums. And this is going to work. But when I run it, it doesn't. And it's this is something that if you see, it's really obvious. But let's make sure we understand what's what's happening, because if you don't see it, it's one of those things that can be a bit of a head scratcher. So let's put a couple comments in here and let's imagine that we have the situation where I have my array as one, two, three, four. There's my array. So the reason, again, I'm actually using the, bit, the length, I'm having the computer calculate the length to account for arrays of different length. And that's an important concept. So nums at zero is equal to the nums at length minus one. So this means take the last element and put it in the first element position. So what happens after that line is one, two, three, four becomes four, two, three, four. And notice nums at zero is lost forever. And this is the thing about computers. Um, if I said to, you code, said to you, my area code is 416, and then we talked for a little bit, and I said to you, my area code now is 905. You as a person could remember what I said previously, but a computer can't. When you overwrite a variable, what was there before disappears. And so when we do this next line, nums, nums that the last element is the first element, essentially it just basically takes this four in the first element and puts it in the last element. So we end up with four, two, three, four. And of course that's wrong. So what do we need to do to solve this problem? To solve this problem, we need to make a temp variable and first pull nums at zero out. And by doing that, we've now stored that information. So the first thing I do is I'm gonna make this variable called temp and that's gonna equal one. So now when I overwrite this four, I can now pull from temp the value to put back in this last position. So I'm gonna come here, because nums at zero has been overwritten and put temp. And, oh, I get a problem. Line five, what did I do wrong here? One, two, three, four, five. Oh, I forgot the S. And there we go. So this idea of swapping elements is a really big idea, and it's a really powerful one that we're going to leverage in a lot of different ways in our course. I hope this helped. Have a wonderful day.